Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. Um, on your screen I have my 8 inch by 10 inch jelly plate and I will be playing with uh, my usual circles and lines as my theme and I thought I would um, I deliberately did not clean my plate off from my last printing and I will use my fat magic marker to make some of my usual marks here that's it for the thick thick lines and then for the thin lines I'm going to use um, a sharpie some of this cadmium yellow and some Indian yellow Now these colors seem to be very uh, transparent as you can tell on the plate you can see the uh, you can see the black lines now certain colors are more opaque than others but this is uh, obviously very transparent Okay. So again, I'm using my uh, tick mark here, right there. I'm sorry for the uh, camera keeps blurring. has transferred very nicely. In fact, it's picking up the uh, it's picking up the other paint that I had not cleaned off. That was my intention. I like this a lot. As you can see. Thank you. 
the uh, residue is very interesting. It's a close-up. And for a first pull, this is very effective. It uh, appears that I had done several pulls to create these subtle textures, but uh, this is all done in one shot. So uh, that will be my first piece. I will keep in keeping with the theme. I just make variations of size. Um, I'm, I'm quite surprised that the permanent markers transfer so well. I'm going to try a green-yellow. Mix it with a little light blue. I'm trying to keep the colors uh, light. Okay, I may have put too much here. Just when you do that, I uh, I can offload it on this. Just wipe a little of this drip here. 
I forgot that the light blue is very watery and very drippy. I'm trying to uh, control the mess. See when uh, when my paint tubes are running low, sometimes I add a little, a few drops of water to thin them out so I can use them all. This is a interesting image because it seems uh, faded. There we go. That's what happens when you apply too much paint. But uh, it is like a watercolor effect so um, I'll put that aside to dry and let me try a stronger color like vermilion and see how things go this time I'll, I won't put too much can't resist the urge to scribble and since this is a smaller plate I'm going to make my scribbles a little smaller Now since I have the uh, uh, permanent marker circles and lines, I'm, I'm pressing really hard on the plate because I want to make sure that the image transfers completely. It has left some leftover, but that's that's fine. I, I like this a lot. So it's a totally different effect when you have the uh, marker circles that are kind of partially transferred. It gives it a very nice uh, kind of like a patina like what you see on old walls that have had lots of posters painted and removed okay that's print number three
Let me make some room here. Okay. Um, continuing with my circles. this parchment which I like a lot let me find a clean roller Again, I have to be careful when the uh, paint goes over the edge. This is interesting. The uh, marker actually turned purple, uh, reacting with the parchment. It's a different kind of look. Let me put a very high contrast on this. I often get the most interesting results when I combine very light and very dark against each other. Okay. Let me 
just wipe these uh, I, I do like, I have to say, I do like this uh, cardstock. It's very smooth, very pleasant to touch, and it's very sturdy. It's not too thick, but it's thick enough to hold up to the uh, pressure and the, uh, the uh, rigors of printing on a plate. I, I would hesitate to do this much pressure on a thinner paper. I would probably rip it. Okay, let's see. Like that. I usually can tell when the uh, transfer is successful that the Paper sticks a lot to the plate. There you go. It's a beautiful surface. It's almost like a, there's a stone, a semi precious stone called lapis lazuli, and this is what it reminds me of. Very happy with this. Okay, moving on. Vermilion. Sometimes you can make uh, neat effects by just doing it in one direction. So you create a grain like, like the grain of wood. Like what I'm doing now is I'm just going in, in a north-south direction.
Okay, let's see what we got. I like this. I can tell right away. I like that mottled look. Let me vary the size of this. Let me try this light blue. This time I will be careful not to put too much. I like this a lot too. Here you go. I love the faded parts. Okay, now the plate is telling me it's time to stop. It's been completely clear and when it's completely clear of residue, that's the best time to give it a good cleaning. Uh, I know some artists just leave the plate and they want that grunge look, but I want to make sure that the plate is clean for the next printing. That's just me. I clean the plate and the printing bed. Okay. Okay. So let me recap 
and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back from a short break. These guys have dried very nicely uh, with the help of my uh, fan here. So, uh, come up with a few interesting results here. I, I love this one. I love this mottled effect. Very complex background. So this one is very interesting. Here's the yellow piece. And it has picked up all these little remnants. And it gives it nice, complex texture. That's what I love about printmaking, is, is you, you don't expect these results. It's a red one. This is where I did the, the grain up and down to create like a, a grain on the, on the paper. Here's the uh, kind of faded look. This is parchment. This will look good with some collage on top of it. Um, I may do the collage part in a separate video. Um, and use this video just to feature the textures uh, as a result. I like this a lot. In fact, I can imagine this as a large canvas if I can, if I can uh, recreate this image. I would love to see this as a canvas. That will be my, my future project when I move away from works on paper and then be more ambitious and start doing works on canvas. So anyway, uh, here are the results of today's session. I'm quite pleased with them. Uh, more than I expected. And uh, thank you again for subscribing and, and watching. Please share with your friends. Give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time.